Hello and welcome. I am the Suntai Dippin' Chew Guy and this is an entry onto the Bubblegum Diaries playlist. Today we will be taking a look at Big League Chew Ground Ball Grape. Okay, so this is one that I have had before, but not in a very, very long time. Uh, the last time I had this product, it was with the old artwork and might have been in, oh, I don't know, 1988 or earlier, possibly. So I have had the grape before, but it was not any time recently. Um, so that is the look on the front there. It is a hanger pouch. When not hanging, these are usually folded over at the cut line. All right. Now, keep in mind when I'm going through the nutritional information that eight slivers of this stuff is considered a serving. Thus, there are 20 servings per bag. Three servings per bag. Uh, so... When I'm going through this, keep in mind, you're going to be intaking a lot more than what is being suggested. They are suggesting the nutrition at eight strips, slivers, whatever you want to call them. So the calories are 10, 10 calories per serving, zero fat, zero sodium, two grams total carbs, which is 1% of your daily both of those two grams are from added sugars, which is 4% of your daily, and there is zero protein. Up right here, there is a clear Best Buy date, which is May 18th, 2023. The manufacturer's information is that this is being made by Ford Gum and Machine Company of Akron, New York. That's New York, Akron, New York. All right, below they have website information or rather social media information that is not the Ford Gum and Machine Company, that is Big League Chew. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, of course, none of which I am active on, but by all means, the website is www.bigleaguechew.com. All right. There is a story on the back. If you want the gist of that story, if you want that story read out, look back to my review of the original and I read it on that, okay? It is officially the official, rather, bubblegum of the National Baseball Hall of Fame, which is being denoted here, all right? It is aspartame gluten and peanut free the manufacturing uh the 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 place where they manufacture this does not deal with peanuts in any way shape or form made in the usa as i said akron new york and the hall of fame bubblegum okay so i'm going to open it up they have a tear line right here it's usually where the package is fold over so it tears off pretty easy. Sort of expecting, knowing what to expect here. Strong, and it's not even, I mean, I've ripped off the top, but I haven't opened it up. Strong smell of candy grape, okay? And, whoa! And it is a lot darker than I thought it would be. Okay, so that is what you're looking at in there. It's pretty dark stuff. I thought it'd be a lighter purple, but no. Uh, the white powdery stuff is cornstarch. They're basically just using that so it doesn't completely turn into a block in the packaging. So that is what you're looking at. And if, see, it's actually coming apart, which is good. Uh, those strands, eight of those strands is a serving according to them. I'm not going to actually pick out eight strands, but yeah, no. So, it's 
it is a very strong candy grape flavor with the big league chew products they do something I'm not sure what adjusting the light sorry that makes the product it's almost tart it's still sweet I'm not saying it's sour but there's a tart aspect to it especially initially it varies a little product to product lighter on the original there sort of there on the watermelon definitely present here it has the effect of making your mouth juice up and they are successful doing that so here's this little BK thing again do you see that right there right off the edge of my finger there BK with like the K altered so it makes a check mark does anybody know what that is it's a really strong candy grape flavor and I'm saying candy grape because in candy whether it's you know like a Jolly Rancher type thing or a gum that grape flavor this grape flavor are there any grapes that actually taste like that like have I missed something in the last 45 years that so I recognize this as grape but not necessarily the fruit if that makes any sense I haven't taken as much as I usually do because I'm hoping to try to blow a bubble here but I think I'm gonna have to pause it so I'll be back in a moment and there's your bubble that's all you get so I am noticing some differences here the grape seems to be have more of a tart presence at the beginning but at the same time it seems to be getting firmer sooner uh, now as I said I haven't had this product in de literally decades so maybe it's just this bag or my my experience with this bag right now but it seems to be getting noticeably firmer now I must say it's turning into rock hard all right it's not turning into like three minutes into a bazooka experience by any means but it's noticeable compared to the watermelon which I just did a few days ago as far as the tartness they're they're too deep with acids in this okay citric acid and something that I'm gonna have to read tartanic tart tartaric tartaric acid so that is most likely between the two the tartness it works this was originally invented by minor league baseball players that were trying to stave off thirst while out on the field okay which is basically why a lot of ball players back in the 50s 60s used chewing tobacco so it may vary slightly the the how the product plays in your mouth from product to product the watermelon did not firm up like this when I say firm though I'm not, again it's not turning rock hard or anything the flavor is lasting just as the watermelon does just as the original does the product just seems like it's it, it's firming up sooner than the other ones that I've already done um it's good I, I'm not a huge candy grape flavor guy um, but it's good 
just as I'm definitely not a candy watermelon guy, and that was good too. So I don't think you can really go wrong with these unless for some reason you don't in general like whatever flavor it is. All right. Now I got this. This is another one I got off of um, oldtimecandy.com. Okay. It's just what I use. I don't see this stuff around me in retail stores anymore. I don't see any bubble gum really around me. Uh, there's a couple places around me that sell bags of double bubble, and that's about it. Um, it retails at about $2.19, I believe, for a bag, which is a bit, but I think actually the experience is worth it. So, you know, that that I will leave up to you. The grape is good as far as grapes go. It It's, it's really good. Mouth waters. Bubbles can be blown. Actually, to tell you the truth, it was I didn't have to wait as long to blow the bubble. I wasn't going to pause as long because it firmed up faster. But the flavor's still there, still there now. So, you know, we're... Where am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I looked over at the time on my computer for the minute thing. I'm like, it's not moving. Why is it not moving? Um, we're in a, with the break, we're, I'm, I'm 10 minutes into this. And the flavor's still strong. So, all in all, if you see it, if you're lucky enough that this stuff is still sold around you, I'd give it a try, unless you don't like candy grape. Um, but, I mean, if you were putting it in an order at a candy place anyway online, where you found yourself in some sort of shopping deal that they had it, like whether, like a su online supermarket or whatnot, I, I, I think it's worth it at 219 Let me put it that way. So this has been the review of Big League Chew Ground Ball Grape. All in all, sound choice. Uh, it, it's darker than I thought it would be. The actual pieces are darker than I thought it would be. I'm not going to pull out the eight pieces. I'm just not doing it. But, I mean, I can't even get one right now. Ah! Keep pulling them that, that Eight of these is a serving according to that. No. 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 Um, the foil actually, the foil bags, the rip off, the foil's actually a pretty good foil bag. It's a lighter foil than you see in chew bags, but it, it's actually being lighter actually works for it in a way because it's pliable. Anyway, grand ball grape. Suit and tie dip and chew guy. Do take care. And as always. God bless.